It's likely that an incredible number of Jewish Americans will again vote for President Obama because Jewish Americans are overwhelmingly a progressive group, especially when it comes to the bread and butter domestic issues. Poll after poll shows that Jewish Americans vote along the same lines and along the same concerns that other Americans do, which is they care about the economy, they care about health care, they care about education, and on those issues they tend to take a more progressive view, actually landing somewhere to the left of the center of the Democratic Party. I think both parties have to some extent misunderstood where Jewish Americans actually fall on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and what the U.S. role should be in resolving it. Over 80 percent of American Jews support bold U.S. leadership towards a two-state resolution. If you turn up the heat on the questions in those polls a little more and ask them, would you support the United States putting pressure on both the Israelis and the Palestinians to achieve a two-state resolution, fully 67 percent of American Jews would support that. That's over two-thirds of our community which believes the United States should be taking a much more strengthened role in bringing the two parties together and actually resolving the conflict between them. Were he president, uh, Governor Romney would pursue uh, a course towards Israel that varies very little from the approach taken by President Obama or previous Republican presidents. The eminent states people in the GOP, James Baker, Condoleezza Rice, Colin Powell, Brent Scowcroft, these are all people who have acknowledged at various points that it's going to take more from the United States for the two parties to actually overcome their differences and reach a conclusion to their conflict.